Hello, this is CyberDoc. Today I want to show you our solution website. Um, it's a paid membership website, which is uh, $20, $20 a month. Uh, let me open another web page. So this is what you will see at iPhoneBacklight.com. It's uh, the solution website's name is iPhoneBacklight.com. It's essentially a solution page that developed by Whites mostly and myself to put all our combined solution, everything we make and uh, all the stuff that he made onto this website. So for example, once you log in, right now, right now it's not login. Let me just um, log in to a user. Okay, so this is what you will see once you're logging. Now I'm logging as a testing member, like a premium member, but this this is a kind of creator just for this video. The IOC. Um, so once you log in, you go to the phone page. On your right, a uh, right hand side, your mouse side, you can let me zoom in. The first column you can see the size solution. So uh, the first one is free solution videos or solutions that's retired for the free public domain. So this one you don't need to be a member to have access. For iPad, everything else down here, these require membership. So once you're logging as a premium pay member, which is only twenty dollars a month right now, this price might and will go up. It will go up, not might. It will go up. Right now it's only at twenty dollars a month. So if you sign up now, it will stay twenty dollars a month for until you cancel it and re-sign up again. And whatever the current price is, it will that will be the price to sign up. Anyways, so it for example, um, let's go to iPad two. So once you click iPad two at the solution side page, this will also show you who's online right now, like which we users online and recently. Um, down here, it, it shows the recent activity of the members. So these are the most recent members that I was logged on. And right now, the website is loading because I clicked web, uh, iPad 2. So now it's loading to iPad 2's web page. So this is what the what you're paying for, basically. As a member, you have access to all the new the solutions made by White and myself. So he made... White, uh, this is a lot of schematics picture solution that's on the website and for example see all, all those problems that, that, that that's uh, for both speaker solution camera solution for iPad uh, I, iPad 2 battery resolution for example battery gets stuck and there's also not charging not this type of USB problem that's from iPad 2 uh, CDMA converter to Wi-Fi not this is not test solution, I guess he put this on. Um, no image or white screen solution, power button. Anyway, this is a lot. As you can see, even just seeing iPad 2, there's just a lot of solutions. And these are, these are the solution schematics pictures that we made. And these are individual uh, articles of the solution. And these are mostly video solutions down here. So this is all for iPad 2. And let me just click one and for example like uh uh let's do the USB solutions. And let's do two examples. So once you click you get like a gigantic picture of the larger board with the solution written on it. You can even zoom in. So by just clicking it, you can zoom out by you know not clicking it. And let's see. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. 
so for this solution um it's kind of messy okay so you what you can do is you can change the filter the back uh the usb filter the usb ic the usb capacitor is over here and this usb uh, dials this is the solution you can get from the web source cyber.irlc.com these components are on it but also you can uh, from the iphone backlight it tells you this coil can be removed and replaced if your ipad is fake charging and some other components like down here uh, if you break it like you can unsolder this you don't you probably don't need this part and this needs to be bridged and jumped because this USB filter it's not really available for sale I, I, I've been looking for it but they don't really sell this to the public so what you can do is you can run a wire to here to bridge it it's a really it's really a capacitive filter um, it's not a good idea to bridge it but right now there's no better solution so uh, and if the any track that's broken you can run a wire from this location to this pin over here but anyway, you get, you get the idea. So it's just a lot of a lot of hard work, a lot of uh, schematics that's been drawn out by hand, and a lot of testing, a lot of failure boards and being like tested, and um, a lot of a lot of work and sweat putting the solution. So let's go back to the iPad 2. And another another popular page we have is iPhone 4 because it's just a lot a lot of people request for iPhone 4 solutions and hence there's like a lot of um, solution pile off for iPhone 4 as you can see see all, all the solutions oh should click on something okay all the solutions are from iPhone 4. And as you can see, that's that's uh, that's a lot. That's like probably 30 solutions right here. 20, 30 solutions. And down here, there's more solutions, more examples of how how do you reboot an audio IC, and how do you rewire an audio IC? For example, like if you click here, oh, it'll take you to the picture. So uh, this this picture will show you how to jump. Like say, if you were soldering and you broke the track and it will tell you tell you where to jump this um how do you run wires for the track as you can see it's very complicated and you can zoom in so yeah this, this is very complicated I probably not gonna try this myself but uh, it's available I mean you, you it, the it's available. <laughs> there are other solutions, like a lot, a lot of different uh, solutions for iPhone four. And of course, there's also repair videos. Um, this is how, this is how do you run the BGA print with thin wires. And this is how, how do you, uh, how do you resolder the audio IC once you solder it off? You want to use uh, the the low melting alloy, by the way. It's from cyberdogalloy.com, cyberdog alloy. So this is what this video is about. And you can, you know, we all our solution are also rated. Um, it depends on the the users. They can rate the video excellent, or you can rate the solution to be awful, whichever. And um, so so that that's pretty much the the meat and potato of this website. It's really it's really a solution bank, if you will, or a solution library for all this Apple products. Right now we have all the iPads, iPad Mini, iPhones, all the iPhone up to generation five from iPhone two, and we also have some of the iPad Touch. Solutions. We're working on more solutions on to, uh, larger um, MacBook Pro and MacBook Air in the future. But right now, all we right now we don't have MacBook Pro and MacBook Air solutions. But we are working on that. And another major component, I guess, the benefit of being a member is that you have at full access. Like you can upload and download uh, pictures from the forum, and you can even you can even ask a question. For example, you have something. 
um, if you don't know how to like say if you had a pro running a problem we have iPhone 4 baseband CPU missing components and you can you can upload a picture onto our forum see you can upload upload attachment picture and ask for help then what Whites will do is he will come on the he, he will be on the forum he checks us every day maybe like twice or three times a day and he will come and help help you out with whatever problem that you have and other members might also uh, bring inputs because they, they all everybody here is, uh, uh, owns a repair shop and does the repair for um, iPhone and iPad so So this this is an example of iPod Touch fourth generation charging issue. So you can ask a question, and other members will comment on that. And more importantly, White will White will come up and help you if he knows the solution, or he can go and fix it once he finds the solution. Once he finds a solution, he posts the solution onto the forum it's it's pretty much one on one uh, interaction it's a, it's a small it's a small community small group and it's a good it's a good community it's a good for it's a good way to learn from just reading the forums from other members or you can post your own problems and own solution even you can post it onto the forum okay so that's pretty much it uh this forum is primarily solution library and also uh, sorry this iPhone backlight.com is primarily a solution library and this just also has a forum that for you to um, interact with other members and whites is asking like uh, help with soldering problems or soldering uh, issues that you run into how do you solder how do you do reworks when using certain machines uh, also like if you broke a pad or you're missing a component or something you can post on this forum and let him know and he will find a solution when he can okay um i think that's pretty much it oh uh so logging in how do you sign out as a member i mean log out first so I'll show you how the sign uh the registration process right now it's very easy everything is run by you can use either credit card or paypal all the processing is running through paypal so to sign up you just click one of these subscribe button it will take you to our sign up page so this is the membership page it tells you what the membership is about and you type in your first name last name email address pick a username that you like uh, I recommend you use your email your, your email address you use so you don't forget password whatever password you like and type it twice billing address you need to enter your billing address this is mostly for payment purpose and um, also uh, just so we know which country you come from and it helps our statistics and once you're done you can submit the form this and this will take you to a PayPal uh, checkout function so let me just enter some random stuff so we can get to see the PayPal option so the first one I'm entering right now this members option it's for it's for monthly billing, so it's it's not just one month. It well, it's one month, but uh, every month it will be billed. You uh, it will be. Whoa, what did I click? Ah, uh, oh, there we go. Okay, th okay. So this is for monthly billing. Every it's twenty dollars a month. Uh, you can cancel at any time. You could click here, cancel. So let me click that, and it will open a new page. So once you sign out, it's uh, $20 a month, and anytime you want to cancel that, you just click that, 
cancellation page and it will take you to a cancellation page but one, only once you're a member I'll, I'll show you once I log in so this is this is twenty dollars a month and you have the option of paying fifteen dollars a month but this is a uh, one time well actually a recurrent one hundred and eighty dollars yearly charge so every year you get bail one hundred eighty dollars and you can of course you can cancel any time within the year and will only get charged one year so how this works is that you only get charged one time one hundred and eighty dollars for a year and that will be divided by twelve and you get fifty it's really fifteen dollars per month instead of twenty dollars a month. So you save like five dollars a month if you are dedicated to a whole year as a member. So yeah. So I guess I was filling this out and stay let's say I'm from California. I'm not from California but it's if I'm from California. And just put in a zip code that your zip code. And check out a uh, submit form and just submit. This will take you to a PayPal page. Okay, so you'll be paying through PayPal. You can log in off your PayPal account. Or if you don't have a PayPal account, you can check out PayPal of your credit card. You just need to uh, fill out this information, like your credit card information, blah, blah, blah. So everything is going through PayPal. It's very secure and it's very uh, international user-friendly because I know some of you don't have a Visa card or MasterCard, and, but you have PayPal and you're in, uh, let's say you're in China or you're in Netherlands or UK. You might not have um, a credit card if to that, that works. So you can just check out your PayPal account. Okay, so once you log in, um, let me log in here. Okay, so once you're a member, Oh, this is this is how a member voted. This is not even member voting. Um, I guess one person voted, um, no good. But eight people vote. They like the website, so they voted eight here, five, five rating. So overall, we we have a very good rating. I have five, four point, uh, four point three stars, four point four, something like that. Okay. Anyway, so now now I'm logging as an LLC as a a pay member. If you wanna cancel. You will still get charged for the first month, but um, or whichever month that you're in, for the, for the before the cancellation. So you just click cancel. Uh, on the site, let me just. So you have recent activities and new solu solutions. Okay. So these these are the recent member and the time uh, they were logging on to the website, and these are the new solution. That any any new solution that's posted, it will be post here. New new the solutions. This is the ten new solutions, and the solution search. You can type in the the problem. For example, if your iPad four, iPad three. Uh, say iPad 3 has no backlight or something or no no home button doesn't work you can type in the keywords and then just click search it will take you to the solution or close the solution to it uh, this is the recent forum replies whoever comment on the forums uh, the comments are the comments on the solution page so these are the recent comments on the solution page but post by members These are the uh, copyrights, and you can contact me or Whites by simply typing your name, email, or whatever that, that it's about the about, and your message, and click submit. These are recommended. Um, I guess only if you're in the U.S. These are recommended tools that I selected personally for rework. You can buy these from Amazon, which. I, I find these two very useful. For example, um, I have these this soldering station. I love it because it can suck up it can suck up this uh, fume from the solder, and it also works very well. 
this is a cheaper model without the suction for the film. I, I think it's good to pay that extra money, extra I guess sixty dollars to get the the lock suction and get the newest generation of the rework station. So that's why I post this one. But for other people who want to save, you know, like sixty bucks, which I think is not worth it to save. But if you want to get cheaper, cheapest rework station that works, this one works. And I also had this uh, rework station before, before I did the upgrade. So that's your call. But they both works. They works fine. Uh, this is the best, or the ch the best priced stereo microscope that you can find on Amazon or eBay even um, it's easier to get that from Amazon so this is uh, I'm, I'm gonna be ordering this very soon it, it's the best microscope out there for the price it's made by mscope it's pretty cheap it's only $700 for a comparative uh, model if that's made of a different name brand this is used uh, for S, uh, S, so, so, yeah. Surface mount component or the surface mount technology rework stereo microscope. Uh, it's also it also can be used to perform microsurgery in a laboratory setting and stuff like that. It's normally costs like three thousand or five thousand dollars, even ten thousand dollars for microscope. But this is only priced at seven hundred dollars shipped from Amazon with a ten um, megapixel camera attached to your PC. So that that's really good deal. Um, this is what I currently have. This is another one without the. Sorry, this is not what I currently have. This is what the the same microscope, I guess, without the camera attachment. And it's only like four hundred, five hundred dollars, which is really cheap. It has a. It comes with a LED light lamp here. So, okay. And this is what I currently have, which I'm going to replace with this. This one. Uh, it's all, it works fine. I mean, it's 10x to 20x. You have to change the uh, microscope lens, and there's a little uh, LED lamp that you can adjust the position. But um, this is what I have right now. It works just fine. It's only $200, and it's actually $180 shipped, and it's shipped directly from Amazon. So you don't have to worry about like it doesn't work or anything. If it doesn't work, just send it back and get a replacement. But um yeah it works it just buy from Amazon it's just a lot easier you don't have to worry about like they have a great return policy okay so this is uh this is a dark field infrared Achi uh pro I guess for it's it, it's a rework um I don't know what is it called it's 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 a rework station they it use essentially a heating ceramic element. That's why it called dark field. It doesn't emit light. I I had the one that make like this one. This is a cheap one. I had the inf infrared lamp. This is the cheapest you can get. This is a three, about two hundred eighty dollars shipped. I had this. I don't like it. It has it use a halogen light for heating element, and it had it has a preheater that's made of ceramic, but um the mostly it's heating with a halogen light which it's blinding to your eyesight so just don't look I, I don't know I don't like this uh, station but I, I only put it here because uh, it's the cheapest model and these are the better ones which cost almost like a thousand dollars shipped this is the this is the best one it has a temperature control probe it has a dark field so it's really just a ceramic uh, heating heating pad I guess uh, up and down but you can control it very well so that's an option if you want to do a BGA repo on the laptops or even from iPhones you some of the components like the um, the power IC you want to repo it you need to use one of these I don't know about this one I, I really don't like this station so if you if you really on the budget you can get this it works it works on phones and iPad but uh, larger board, but it's just I don't like the halogen light. It's too blinding for me. Uh, this is the this is a similar thing. It's it's made of ceramic. It's a it's a soldering oven. So basically, you can control and reflow whatever board that you want to reflow. Um, this is also a very good buy. It's six hundred dollars, and I think it's worth it. This is a soldering tweezer. Yeah, if you want to remove small parts and you don't want to damage them, this is what you want to get. 
you should get this if you want to keep your lung healthy and not get COPD or asthma because the flux, it doesn't matter what flux you use um, it emits fume and when you do soldering the fume can cause asthma some people are allergic to, uh, they can become develop allergy due to the flux fume so or whatever else stuff you put in the flux like the sound manufacturer put really crazy chemical in the flux you don't know when you buy it uh, our flux don't do that the, the worst thing you can get from the flux we we sell it's the rosin and that's really just pine tree extract um, that can cause asthma though it, every every flux on the world can cause flux, uh, asthma if you put in the fume for too many years and so yeah you wanna get a get a filter uh, this is really just a really strong fan tabletop fan and it has a uh, uh, activated carbon filters to filter out the fumes and organic chemicals uh, this is a ultrasonic cleaner what they can do is if you put in the proper solutions and, and uh, solvent it can clean out the water damage corrosion that's underneath the board that's hard to clean area because you use a ultrasonic frequency to clean the board this is a preheater it's the, ch the cheapest I can find on Amazon which work also work really well because what they have is the ceramic heating element instead of using hot air um, it goes up to 150 degrees Celsius I believe and it's only a hundred dollars and you buy directly from Amazon, so it's another good deal. And that will be it for the website. Um, okay, thank you for watching. This is CyberDoc. I will see you next time. Pose a question to us if you have any concerns or questions. You can contact us through this page. Uh, iPhoneBacklight.com. Again, it's a one word iPhoneBacklight.com. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.